Radon itself is a gas that you can't see, you can't smell it, you can't taste it, and that is why it's, it's so dangerous, because people don't know they, they even have it in their home. Hi, my name is Trevor. I'm a licensed plumber, gas technician, water treatment specialist, and radon expert. Today we're going to be talking about the health effects of radon, what it is, and how we can mitigate it. So the question is, what is radon? Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that's found in the bedrock underneath your home. And the radon gas finds its way uh, through cracks, uh, some pit holes, any, any kind of gap that might be between the foundation wall and the slab of the floor and into your, into your basement. So the primary risk of radon is lung cancer. It's the leading cause of lung cancer among non-smokers and the second leading cause of lung cancer among smokers. If you are a smoker and you have radon in your house, your odds of having lung cancer are six times more likely than if you weren't exposed to that uh, high level of radon. So one of the things a lot of people don't realize is that the effects of secondhand smoking and the effects of being exposed to high radon levels, it's the exact same way it affects you. So when a, uh, a lung is looked at during an autopsy, it's actually pretty difficult to tell if it's caused by smoking or if it's caused by high radon levels. That's how similar they are. So they have to do case studies to determine uh, if it was the radon levels or if it was a smoking or a combination of both. So essentially living in a house with high radon is basically the equivalent of someone smoking in your house every day. So radon itself is not the actual gas that's, that's killing you. The radon is radioactive, so it decays, or it's called radioactive decay. As that happens, it releases alpha particles. It's these alpha particles that shoot off at half the speed of light at a relatively large mass that can damage the actual cell inside your lung. What you want to have happen is for the actual cell to blow up so to speak, because your cell can regenerate. It's when it doesn't do that and it just damages the actual structure of the cell. That's where you can have a lung cancer form. Becquerel's per cubic meter is the unit of measurement we use when uh, talking about uh, radon levels. The uh, worldwide action level, so basically the action level is the level at which the government recommends that you, you mitigate. So that level worldwide and most of the world is, is 100. In Canada, our action level is 200 becquerels per cubic meter, which is actually double the world average. So there actually is uh, even radon outside. Uh, you're exposed to about 15 becquerels per cubic meter uh, while outdoors. The reason why it's safer outdoors than indoors is because the radon instantly dilutes. Whereas indoors, it has a place to collect, it gains potency, and uh, bind itself to dust particles that could be suspended in the air. In which case, as soon as you go down in the basement or wherever that area where the most radon may be, you breathe in those particles, and that's when the actual alpha particles start blowing off in your lungs and damaging the soft tissue. That is how lung cancer is formed when, uh, when it comes to radon decay products. Radon itself is a gas that you can't see, you can't, you can't smell it, you can't taste it, and that is why it's, it's so dangerous, because people don't know they, they even have it in their home. The only way to know if you have it in your home is to test for it. And in Canada, I can absolutely guarantee you that you have radon in your home. We don't know what the levels are. I mean, we, we have to test for it to see what those levels are. And depending on those levels, Health Canada may recommend that you mitigate your home. So we offer two methods of testing. We have a seven day test and a longer term 91 or more day test. The seven day test is for people that want an immediate result. It's not as accurate as the longer term, but it can give you a, a picture as to if you have insanely high levels in, in your house. At which point we still recommend you do the long term test to determine the need uh, for mitigation. 
This is the long-term test. This test is deployed for 91 days or longer in the lowest lived level of the room. It has a plastic lens in here that the alpha particles hit. Those alpha particles that we talked about before, when they hit that lens, it leaves an imprint. We then send these to the lab and they can see the imprints on this lens. That's how fast and hard they're hitting this lens. At which point they're able to determine how many becquerels per cubic meter you have over that time period. If it's doing this to the lens, what do you think it's doing to the lung? It's quite scary if you think about it. All right, so you had your house tested. Your levels, maybe they're not quite above 200, maybe they're 180, but you wanna get them down. One of the ways you can do that yourself is by sealing some cracks. You can take a caulking gun or a foam gun and, and spray any cracks holes that you can see that are visible. That may help reduce uh, the level somewhat, but you're never gonna get down to, you know, below 60, below 40 if you're, if you're at 180, unless you do a mitigation system. All right, so you've tested your house, you have levels above 200 becquerels per cubic meter, and you want to know what you can do about it. So the primary method of uh, mitigating your home is through subsoil depressurization uh, method. What it is, is a collection of pipes that are going underneath your basement slab, connected to a fan and running outdoors. It's, we're simplifying it, but that is how you do it. You're basically creating a suction underneath your floor to not only suck the radon gases out, but to more importantly, create a negative pressure underneath that slab so that gases don't want to enter any cracks that there may be still left in the home that we can access to seal. So the, the important thing, uh, in my opinion, is you find someone who is certified to do it. Across the industry, there's too many poke and hopers. What that is, is basically putting a pipe in the ground, putting a fan to it, running outside, hoping it works. They don't actually know. They haven't done the testing and analysis throughout the slab to ensure that that is going to work properly for that particular house. So that would be the first thing I'd recommend, is find someone certified in your area uh, that, can, that can do that for you. Let's say, even if that pulp and hole method does work, I can almost guarantee you, you're using way too much uh, energy to run that fan because it wasn't sized properly. They're just putting the biggest one they can find and, and that's it. Uh, with a proper company, they're gonna do that testing analysis. They're gonna make sure that fan is sized properly so you're not wasting energy uh, as well. So we as a company are certified through the CNRPP. So that is a regulation uh, body in, in Canada. And we do follow their guidelines so that we can ensure that you and your family stay safe. So you might be wondering uh, how much does a mitigation like this cost? There's so many variables uh, that, uh, that, that go into a job. After we do the testing and analysis, that is when we're able to determine where the systems are gonna go, how many pipes we're gonna need, how many fans, etc. Um, so a good rule of thumb is basically the cost of a furnace is usually what we, we kind of equate it to. Being a plumber, I already knew about radon. When I moved into my own house, I didn't want my kids to play downstairs until I knew what those levels were. So I tested my house and unfortunately I had 3,000 barrels per cubic meter as my long-term average. So you can imagine how I must have felt when, when I got those results. I looked to see if I could find someone that could help me. Uh, with my issue <laughs> and I couldn't which is why I decided to take the course myself and mitigate my home personally. So I got my levels from 3,000 down to 11 in 24 hours after the mitigation and now my kids <laughs> you know I have peace of mind I have my, my, my kids play downstairs now which uh, I obviously didn't before. Our primary goal is to educate homeowners about radon and to encourage you implore you to test your home. In my case, I had a 30% chance of lung cancer uh, as well as my entire family. So in closing, what I really want to get across to everyone is the importance of testing the home. You do not know how much radon it is in the home until you test for it. It's so easy to do. It's something you can do yourself. It's fairly inexpensive. You can pick the test up on an Amazon if you wanted to do it yourself. We also do it as well. Take that hassle out for you. Not only will it keep you safe, but any potential families that could move into your home safe as well.